Music defines and enriches our lives, whether experienced as a recording or a live performance, whether it's downloaded or streamed, sampled, remixed, or used within film or television. And the business of creating, protecting, and promoting songs and musical compositions is the business of music publishing. The MPA is a broad church, and we cover every conceivable genre of musical work. Well, printed music is, is one of the oldest forms of exploiting music copyright, typically in, in pop music, but also uh, in classical music and, and in the educational area. It's normal for a, an album or a CD to be replicated in, in printed music format. That would involve transcribing the songs, typically for piano or for guitar, and then selling those books um, either through high streets or uh, our online retailers. You hear production music every day without even realising it. You'll hear it in theme tunes, in adverts, in film trailers, in feature films, and even in ringtones. So a production music user signs up to the PRS, uh, the rate card is on their website, and there's an online licensing system, so it's very easy for production music users to find out how much it's going to cost for their production. The advantages of using production music are that it's easily clearable worldwide instantly. The rates are predefined so it's easy to budget. It's quick and easy to clear. It's written specifically for use with visuals so it's easily editable. Music users can try it before they buy it so there's no risk involved. Composers write all sorts of music and so the work that they can create can range from a single individual work for piano through to a chamber piece, a string quartet, a large ensemble work, orchestral works, ballets, operas and as a publisher we're here to support and nurture them. slightly nerve-wracking no matter what sort of situation it is to hear your piece uh, live in the flesh for the first time. So, I mean they just did a lovely job. Once the score is finally done you just have to know, particularly where it's been done by lots of choirs, you have to know that uh, choirs sound different, conductors will interpret things in slightly different ways and that's well, that's great, you know, you want slightly different interpretations of pieces, it's fun. As publishers, we spend a huge amount of time and energy and resource in providing editorial services for our composers. In an orchestra, you've got maybe 80 musicians on stage and you've got 20 or 30 different instruments. So from the score that the composer provides, the publisher then creates the individual parts for the musicians to play from. Performing groups such as the London Sinfonietta, the PRS for Music Foundation, Birmingham Contemporary Music Group, they all offer schemes to support and offer opportunities for young emerging composers. <laughs> 